Good morning everyone and welcome to the Late Night Shift. In this episode we are going to be discussing a news story which just came out recently. How the group, the Japanese Visual Kai group Versailles is taking a break. Now this story is kind of interesting for me because of all the bands so far that I have listened to and we're talking Alice Nine, Gazette, uh, Claris we're talking, you know, of obviously Versai. Versailles is the only group that, I, well almost the only group because I actually did, now thought about it Claris is the only group I own every single of, I just don't own their first record, which is called Birthday. But, Versailles was the first group that I had the pleasure of basically saying that I own just about every um, CD that they put out. The only DVD I don't own from them, this is no joke, is the first Chateau uh, Davis de Versailles concert. But the funny part about that is, and you can check this, that one actually costs more than the uh, than the more recent one, which was Jubilee, which is kind of funny to me. But I wonder partially if that's because of the fact that Jasmine Yu, their eternal member, was involved in that and, you know, so it makes me wonder about that a little bit. Because <laughs> I've, never, I've never heard of a more recent issue, a, yeah, more recent issue for costing less than, you know how that works usually, but anyway. Um, if someone were to ask me, what song particularly do you like from them? Oh, that's an easy one. I got at least three. Saturnade is always going to be in my top three. So there's Amorphous, so there's a I know, I just pick like every song. <laughs> I just pick like three songs from Jubilee, right? But I also like, from Noble, I liked, um... I believe, Noble came, I believe the zombie came from Noble, right? I'll double check that. Double check that. But, I like that song. I've actually watched that that music video, that, oh, that video from the live performance from the first Chateau concert, at least 20 times. Just because of how funny it is. When you're watching the thing, and I know where... Komajiro comes up there and starts, and he just like basically flips the birds out of the ground. And you're like, wait a minute, did that just happen? Yeah, it did. Why? And it was like, it's one of the funniest moments ever I've ever seen watching it comes because it's just like, it's just a random thing. So for those of us wondering, no, M.I.A. was not the first person to apparently flip the bird to a crowd at a concert. Anyways. It, is this going to be like a big blow to the Japanese music scene? No. You got Claris, you got Perfume, you got, you know, House Nine, you got all these bands, because that... Back to exit trace. All these bands, and then some. Bow Wow, Joe anyway. I keep going. Cousin Watanabe, the Yoko Niwa Trio, which actually is a um, Boston-based. Yeah, Boston. 
based um, jazz group here in the US so is it going to be a real hit as in a bleak blow to the industry no it's going to be interesting though to see how see what some of the band members do during the break next year it's also going to be interesting because I had to bring this up the year that they are taking off is the same year that Sailor Moon is going to be relaunched in Japan and then eventually worldwide so how that's going to work who knows but it will definitely be interesting to see where this goes from this point forward which that brings me to this question for you what kind of projects would you want to see the different members do me because I know that uh, Clement Gio is a producer I'd like to see what kind of stuff he does with like different artists in the music scene maybe I, I think it'd be kind of cool to see like Ted or put out like a couple or put out like um and then a solo instrumental record next year or maybe maybe they're just going to like totally you know take a break off of music period just you know have fun that's what they, that's what they need to do you figure if you do a record one record a year and for like three years straight you just need to have fun at some point like seriously so if I was them I would no joke just take the year off say fuck everything and just take the year off and go have fun if you got a family go out with your family if you don't then just lounge out and do nothing for you maybe that's just me but my question to you is what do you think of the news that they are going to be taking a break next year but also this um it was also announced by the street teams that if you want to see the group come to your country for what they're calling the last world tour for you to use the hashtag hashtag we want last world tour would you like to see them come to your country I would I love to see them come to America I'd love to see them come to Philadelphia my backyard but we're gonna have to wait and see to be honest but that's what I want to find out from you so until we meet Sunday night, which actually isn't that far from here, I shall talk to you then. Until then, your shift is over. Sayonara!